here we are, we're in Manchester and uh, it's, the, it's the middle of March, a really exciting day because today is the day, no it's not the teddy bears picnic, today is the day we meet all the new Northern Line artists and we've come to this really cool funky venue called Gorilla and right now in a room just off to the side here we've got representatives from nine of the, um, the bands that make up this year's Northern Line, in fact we could probably peep and see them through the window, but I think they're having a, a talk from Steve about how to get more gigs. So now we're going to go inside and see how the artists are getting on for their Northern Line Induction Day. So we've got nine bands who are here. I think there's about 18, 20, 25 musicians. Let's go and check it out. Hey Lucy. How's it going? Great to see you. Now Lucy, you're our Northern Line project manager. So what's going on? How's it going? Yeah, it's going really well. We're here in my hometown of Manchester. Um, we've got 25 artists who are here today, which covers the nine bands that we've selected for the round six roster of Northern Line. So we're really excited to get them up and running and ready to go um, ahead of the showcase day in the summer as well. Um, so we cover the whole region of the, of the, of the North. Um, so we've got bands who have travelled down from Newcastle, we've got a band from Cumbria, from Leeds and some people from here in Manchester as well. It should be quiet because Steve um, is doing a presentation about how to get more gigs and getting the insight into promoters and how to market your band in the right way to get, to get all the gigs while you're on the Northern Line scheme. Hi, we're Ponyland, and my name's Geordie Cook. I play guitar, and I write the songs. This is... Hey, I'm Matthew, and I play the sax. And I'm Frankie, and I'm the singer. We're Emma Johnson's Gravy Boat. Uh, I'm Emma Johnson, and I play the saxophone. Um, I'm Callum Charles, and I play the guitar. And then we've also got uh, Sam Quintana, who plays bass, and Ali Wells, who plays the drums. Right, I'm Paul Taylor, I play solo piano and keyboards and from Newcastle upon Uh I would describe my music as uh, sort of free improvisation uh, with elements of classical, ambient and jazz music. Hi, I'm Becca, um, I'm a violinist and I'm in tap. Um, it's a violin and cello loop pedal group. Um, they're, well, it's violin and cello and a loop pedal and some electronics too. Um, so, so we're Manchester Jazz Collective, we're a 10 piece ensemble. Um, the music is written um, you know, by all sorts of members in the band. Um, not one person um, is, is the sole uh, writer um, for the music. Um, the band's called Trap and Bits, and it's a piano trio, so piano, bass and drums. We are Artifice, uh, we're a jazz quintet based in Manchester. I play trumpet, James plays guitar, um, and we've also got a drummer, bass player and a uh, pianist. I'm Mark Williams from the Mark Williams Trio, and I play guitar. And Russ Morgan's on drums, and Paul Susan's on bass. We play scuzzy, afrobeat, punk, jazz, and... Uh, I think we're inspired by Sonny Rollins and that kind of moved into Sun Ra and then we started getting into Don, Don Cherry mm -hmm. yep. and uh, then we started listening to Lightning Bolt and then it all just went to pot. It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're based in Leeds and we've been playing together for the last three years. Um, I first started writing some music uh, for the band and then we've recorded an EP together uh, which we, re we released last year. What's important to me about music is to get it out to wider audiences uh, in the North East and the North and beyond. And uh, I think at the st stage of my career where my music really needs that extra boost, I'm really grateful for Northern Line to put trust in me for that. So we're a fusion of the classical world with jazz, um, electronics, we're experimental, um, we're loopy. <laughs> um, what else can I say about our sound? Um, we basically try. We basically 
create um, ambient sound soundscapes. Um, our motto is, you name it, we can play it. <laughs> so we can we try and do that from the classical to jazz to world to funk and drum and bass, dance, anything. We're from Newcastle, we're from a Newcastle Gateshead area in the northeast, and we've been going about quite a while, actually, about eight or nine years, with various reincarnations of various members of the band. The whole reason the band set up was to draw together a pool of musicians within Manchester, each bringing their own backgrounds and diverse musical experiences, and creating a, a sort of melting pot where we could all bring our own ideas into a large ensemble platform. We've got quite a contemporary sound, which is uh, rooted in strong <laughs> melodies. Um, and the band is also based around uh, the fact that we're quite a tight-knit group of musicians, uh, so we like to do a lot of kind of improvisation. There's a lot of interplay uh, between all the members of the band. When we're improvising, we're kind of... Um, we're sort of free to go in any, any direction that we want with the music in terms of like references to styles and things like that. Um, the three of us have listened to a lot of music. Um, so those things kind of come up in the music a lot, I think. I'd describe our music as a composite of jazz and, and rock and the stuff we grew up listening to. So it's got bits of Jimi Hendrix in there, uh, fused with more modern day improvised funk jazz like Butcher Brown, Christian Scott, Quintet. Well, when I, when I was a child, the first band I really loved was, was Radiohead. Uh, and I think I've always loved that kind of, the kind of melancholy side of music. So I think that influence is kind of still present today in a, in a sense. I mean, we do have elements of straight ahead jazz, but then also we can easily go into an ambient sort of textural effect driven type tune to a more raucous, rockish type heavy groove based composition.